Okay, we're back with day two of this build. Uh, I think it's taking a couple days because it's like just one and a half people putting it together. <laughs> now, nah, it got dark on us yesterday, so we called it quits, went and had dinner. So we're back. It's a little bit cooler today. What was it, like 57 ish? Yeah. -ish? I have a sweatshirt over there if I get too cold, but yesterday I was like, I was moving. So we got a fire going over there to try to stay warm. We're trying to fight the rain, but we got to get a roof on this thing and we got to get it anchored down. Uh, last night before we left, we tied it off to the trees. So in case we did get a storm overnight, uh, it wouldn't take off on us. But uh, all right, we just got to get the roof on and get it anchored down and we're done. Right? Yes. Okay, so let's get at it. So like I said earlier in the video, I did upgrade. Instead of using these anchors, um, I upgraded with these um, these anchors. that have like an auger bit on it and uh, something we could clip our ratchet straps to. Probably like so. And ratchet down the at least the four corners and get it down so in case we do have a storm going in but what's nice is it has a socket head on it so i could get those in the ground either so i'm going to do the two front ones just so we have that's where i want the front to be and then you know i'm going to have to measure and make sure we're straight and everything we were supposed to do this before we put the fronts on but we didn't um and i, I don't do. honestly think that it would have worked if you did because we had to take it like almost all the way apart on the ends to yeah make that happen yeah but um i want to get i want to get it like squared somewhat before i get the roof on which is why i'm going to do the four corners four corners first okay all right so let's give this a shot give Pull that with your finger. Oh, I got it. Figured you're recording me. Of course I am. To get a tool. <laughs> Where is it at? There it is. There you are. came off <sighs> okay so we did this a little bit off camera um, that's basically the concept we're gonna do all four corners just like this no this is what they give you put those things in oh. we just used the drill instead of that Help for the roof. Okay. Ooh. For this 
hooked on that thing, and then you wreck it. I got help now. So now we're one, two, three and a half people. <laughs> yeah, but see, now you don't need me. I could just be videographer. We'll still count you as a half. Okay. We're going to title this Assembling uh, Harbor Freight Garage with One and a Half People. <laughs> well, when we were at Menards today, I said that I okay, felt like so we should be filming like the well, purchase between there and there, item for our kitchen remodel. But my husband okay. would have so got, like an expletive oh, because I drive him nuts. <laughs> but I really feel like, especially when I refinish the cabin and tree with my new paint. I pulled over here too, but that might be. How do you get that loose? I can't do that. Oh, that comes from years of doing that on the back end of the semi trucks. So he's doing it so that that piece goes into you. I was doing them the other way. I don't know what you mean, but that's okay. No, you got to see how he's doing it because then you're going to have to remind me. So see that piece that ratchets? No. That piece okay. is him. That piece. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was doing them the other way, and then when you go to try to release them, they don't come. They don't come loose. Which that one's probably backwards. Pull down one. These were. Yeah, the, the holes for the poles to go through are just as big as the hole. There's no space. Maybe next summer I could bend and get down on and get back up. Not quite this summer. One more leggy. Oh, did you guys measure these ones? Not yet. No. That's what I'm here for. Here's the foreman.
Okay, so it says, lay the top cover on the ground next to the frame so that the inside pocket for the opposite side is facing up. Slide two bottom rails in the middle openings of the pocket. Here's a pocket here. Ah, That's so it would be this okay, so side to this side and that. So that side's gonna go up and over that way. So that's the side you put the yeah. rails in. Right where Mark is, that side over there will get the rail, and then we'll lift it up over this way. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this thing right here? Yeah, but we're going to do, do that, that side, side first. And then take that up and over, and then this side will be laying right there. Uh, number fives? Yeah. Almost the doctor and can't figure out the whole directions. It's here. all good. Yeah, it says to do it from the middle. In the middle? Yeah. So they don't connect, I don't think. It's only two? Two. Two from the middle. How many poles are over there? Six. Six. So there's four over here and you have two. So it'll take three on each side. But it said to put two. I know. I think you want to go to the next, the next one down. This one down? Yeah. I think you want to go from there. Poles. There should be enough poles. Three on each side. There's three openings over here on each side, so. But there's four places. No, there's not. You're right. Yeah, like they barely fit. Right? Yeah, so you're supposed to secure some cords some rope on the on the ends of the middle things okay. so that you can pull it up and over. So Sean's getting us some paracord. And you guys are gonna all be pulling and tugging to the other side. You, you laugh like you get to just watch and film a struggle. I do. You're like, ha oh. ha well, Do you not like how I tied that? <laughs> Probably maybe there. I see those falling off. Okay.
we got it. You sure you want these two, these two in here? We can take this slot in easy on this one. I think they're going to want it. I'll just take the light on that and get the You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not that tall. <laughs> I'm not that tall. Just pull tension on the rope. Oh yeah, now the wind kicked up. Yeah. Let's go fly a kite. <coughs> up to the highs. Something in the height. I'm gonna get that now. I'll get you some more. Well, that was pretty simple, actually. Yeah, I think that you put the three poles in. And probably would have been better with one, but that's okay. They said to put two. You need to pull a little on this think, end. Did yet. we go too far? No, you need to go. There's the center right there. Yeah. Well, I think once we well, I think you it, need to go this end a little bit yet too, because this end isn't covered yet. I'd say was. Yeah, we can do that. Get this to the center, like you said, Sean, and then. Is there a lot hanging over over there? Yeah. Okay, so we get to cut yeah, you just pulled it too far now. You, you went too over far? the edge again yeah. on the other side now. Yeah, yeah we're, we're almost yeah. flush. We can always back up a little bit. 
I think you could come inside. I think you're allowed in the house. <laughs> I think that it just needs to be just over the edge on both sides yeah. so that when you pull that black strap in, it'll tighten it down. Which way do you need to go? I have no idea. You well, go, you gotta go, go this way again. Because that way would be the yeah. I see, I see you right. Pull. 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 So these poles then connect. We gotta put poles along here. Okay. Yeah. They connect with these. These holes on the bottom seem to be much wider than the ones that were on the sides. So they don't have the strap to them either. That's true. That that yeah. Put like a table down the center and have sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, okay. Did you get the. Oh. Did you put any hashtags? You don't put hashtags when you do Instagram. We gotta do that because that's. How people find us. Mm. You didn't put hashtags. Did you put a description? No, just take a picture and post it. All right? That's okay. She did hashtag supervisors. Did you? All right. Hashtag supervisors. Yeah, but I didn't put Donnelly Cove anywhere. Does I, it matter? I don't hashtag Donnelly Cove. Yeah, I just did like off grid, garage, weekend building. retreat, you know, that kind of stuff. B7. Oh. What's, what's your new job? My new job? Holding a string? Yeah. That's what I'm qualified for. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that. I already got fired. <laughs> what else did you get? Did you say? All right, so I believe that's going to wrap this one up. Mark, thankfully, went down and put in all the hardware there to straighten this up. It's not going anywhere. We got it strapped down. We got the supervisor sitting over here, approved everything. So we have our inspection <laughs> stamped, good to go. And I believe... We will at least get through this winter with no issues. And that gives us a nice little garage there to keep the supervisors and the tractor in. So I think that's going to wrap this one up. So, hey, if you enjoy this series, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you hit the like. I hope this is something that if you're looking into getting one of these to protect your outside equipment, uh, you might think about considering it. Um, I think it'll do fine for us for at least a couple years, which is what our goal was. And, uh, yeah, hey, also check out ourhauntedtravels.com for information and things that uh, we posted from all of our travels all over the place. So I need to get my uh, videographer out here. No, nope, I'm gonna go to her. All right, till next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. 
Okay, so Sean has put the roll cage bar down and he's going to move the tractor into it's, its new little house. It's all wet, but I and it's, it in there. yeah, it's a little wet because it was raining. 